Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Acuvos. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create Acuvos user. The very first thing we need to know why we need the users. In order to integrate Acuvos with MDM Hub, we need to create these users so that the using these users we can achieve the task management and we can view the task in the IDD. So user creation is very important step in MDM and Activos installation or MDM and Activos integration. Before going to start the actual user creation, there are some prerequisites. So what are the prerequisites? Very first, we we need to create Activos ORS or we call VPM ORS. I would name it as Active Was ORS. So make sure you have created Active Was ORS. Also, we need the Active Was admin user. So these are the two basic things about the Active Was. The next thing we need is make sure we have created MDM CMX ORS and we have configured MDM hub. So these steps need to be completed before going to create user, Activos user, users and integrate those in the with MDM hub. So once you are done with these things, then you can start creating Activos users. What are the things we need before creating Activos user? We need a uh, application real name. So when we create the Activos admin user, we have to provide the real name. For example, so this is the real name I create I use while creating my admin user uh, Activos admin user. Second thing we need the roles. What are the roles we need to assign? So these roles are predefined and we need to use exactly same roles. So do not use any other role. Sometimes your application server provides user or you can create your own custom roles. But in order to integrate ActiveOS with MDM Hub, we need to have these three roles. AB Trust, AB Service Consumer and AB Task Line. So make sure you, are, you capture all this information before creating the users. So Assume that we, we have all this setup and we'll start actual creation of the users. In order to create users, I'm using JBoss server. So in JBoss server, you will see the very uh, very basic bat fly. It, uh, it, if it is Windows, then it is .sh file. If it is Win, oh, sorry, uh, if it is Windows, then it is bat file. If it is Unix, then it is .sh file. So what this file what I have done, I have just created my custom bat file which actually points to the actual location of that bat file. So if you see this AB JBoss user, so this is used to add user. So this is the path where the add user dot bat file present and we are going to just execute it. Normally I use uh, run as administrator because this these are the kind of administrative activity. So we have to run as an administrator. It's not kind of mandatory, but that is the way I prefer to do. So right click on that file, click on the run as an administrator. So we need also the username. We can give any username. So let's also in my things to need document. So here is the information and I will give the third is user names you can give any name there is no restriction so let's see I'll use uh, James as a manager the second user is Tom as developer and suppose the next user is Bruce Add senior or data steward. 
I'll use one more Kathy as tester. So these are the rules I have. So the each uh, oh sorry these are the usernames I'm going to create. So you can use any name so there is no restriction. Let's first create this James manager as a James as a manager. So I just executed that file. So you can see there are two types of user we can get management user and application user use b as an option enter it it is saying the using realm application realm as a discord from the existing properties file now you have to provide username as it is windows just i'm going to use right click edit and paste if it's unix it is just right click those username will be pasted here so james manager enter password requirements are listed below so these are the requirements so let me create the password here no need to make a note of this I'm just for simplicity I'm making note here I'm just going to copy this and let's go ahead and paste it there enter the password again right click edit and paste enter what group do you want to this is just to belong please enter comma separated list or leave blank space for none so this this is the place where we have to provide the users uh, roles make sure you have you are not providing any space in between these rows just copy and paste it here it's very simple straightforward not a rocket science but the sequence of steps is important comma separated no additional space enter about to add James manager for realm application realm make sure the realm name <coughs> is the same which we created earlier if you have changed any realm name then make sure you are using appropriate this is correct I'll say yes and it is saying uh, add user James this, these are the rows this is the file it is going to update is this new user going to be used for one of AS process to connect another AS process for a slave most control connecting to the master or for the remote connection for the user to serve EJP calls I'll say just yes and let's see how it goes now to present the user <coughs> so this will be the value will be added as an encrypted value just to mark and just will make a note of this <coughs> sorry so I think to just mark select this enter Print. Yeah. So this is the James manager user got created. If you want to check that, we have to go back and in the JBoss configuration. There will be two files: application role and application users. So you can open this file. And you can see the James manager user got created. The active was ADM that was the admin user I earlier created. Then application role you can check. You can see these are the James manager is added for with this role. So by this way you can create the users and role. On the same line, if you want to create the other roles, you can just create this. I'm going to show you one more demo just for have the sim uh, understanding how you can do as I mentioned I normally use run as administrator option B password I'm, I'm going to use the same password
let's re-enter that same password it is asking a role names which we have already captured and I think these role names are already present in the documentation installation document so you can get the exact name so that you will not do the any type of error so that, that's very simple and straightforward I think you got the idea how to create the ActiveOS user the same thing means uh, the if your application server is different then sequence will be or the way of creation of user which is different but if you are using the JBoss what are those process we have followed you can follow the same process to create users I hope this tutorial is going to help you to create users for ActiveOS usage if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time